Section 11.7 is systems of inequalities. Everything we've talked about so far has been systems of equations. Now we're going to get into inequalities, both linear and nonlinear. So whenever you solve a system of inequalities, you have to solve it by graphing. So let's review how to solve or how to graph a linear inequality. So we have this inequality, 3x plus y is less than or equal to 6, which is the same thing as y is less than or equal to negative 3x plus 6. So we graph this line just like we normally graph a line, but you have to remember, is it going to be a solid line or is it a dotted line? So for this one, it's going to be a solid line because we have an or equal to. Remember, when it's, whenever it's or equal to, that means the points on the line actually solve the system, so you want to include those points. If it's not or equal to, then the points on the line do not solve the system, so you don't include those points, so you make it a dashed or dotted line. Then you have to decide what side you're going to shade. Normally to do this, I plug in a point for x and y. If it solves the system, if it's a solution to the system, then you shade that side. If it's not a solution to the system, then you shade the other side. I usually pick 0, 0 unless the curve goes through that specific point. So if you plug in 0, 0, you get 3 times 0 plus 0 is less than or equal to 6. 0 is, in fact, less than or equal to 6, so it's a solution to our system. So we want to include it in our shading, so I'm going to shade that side of the line. So now we have a system of inequalities, so go ahead and pause the video and graph these two inequalities. So I graphed the first inequality, y is greater than or equal to negative x plus 2, so a y-intercept of 2 and a slope of negative 1. It has an or equal to, so it's a solid line. And then I plugged in 0, 0. 0 is not greater than or equal to 2, so I shaded away from 0, away from the origin. The next one, y is greater than 2x minus 4, y-intercept of negative 4, a slope of 2. It has a dotted line because there's no or equal to. I plugged in 0, 0. 0 is greater than negative 4, so I included the origin. So now your solution to the system is where you shaded for both of them. So the solution would be this part up in here that was included in both of the inequalities. So now we have a system that has a nonlinear inequality. It's okay, you just do the exact same thing. You just graph that parabola like you normally would. So go ahead and pause the video and solve this system. So I graphed the parabola that's been shifted down 4. When I tested the point 0, 0, I got that 0 was less than or equal, great, excuse me, greater than or equal to negative 4, which is in fact true. So I shaded the part of the parabola that included the origin, which was inside the parabola. And then the line I did, just like we were doing on the previous ones, 0 is less than or equal to 2, so I shaded down. So my solution is the part that's inside the parabola, but below the line, so this purple part in here. You can also have systems that have more inequalities than just two. So for instance, this one has four. Sometimes you'll see things like this. X is greater than or equal to zero and Y is greater than or equal to zero. So X is greater than or equal to zero. That means your X's are positive, which means you have to be over here on the right side of the Y axis. Y is greater than or equal to zero means your Y's are positive. So that means you have to be up here above the X axis. So you wanna be to the right of the y-axis but above the x-axis. So this is basically telling you that you're going to live in quadrant one. So sometimes it'll give you specific boundaries like that. Go ahead and pause the video and solve the rest of the system. So I graph the two inequalities, y is less than or equal to negative x plus three and y is less than or equal to negative two x plus four. For both of those, the origin did hold true, so I graphed down from them. So because of this extra limitation that you need to be in quadrant one, the solution is just this little kind of quadrilateral part in here that's below both of the lines but only exists in the first quadrant. So when you're solving systems of inequalities, make sure you keep in mind whether it's solid or dotted lines and what side you want to shade and then make your solution when it's a system very obvious. Make the actual part that exists for both of them darken so you can tell this right here, this is my solution to the system.